voiceover, character voices, music, sound effects, all mixed together into one piece of audio. As the late Andy Rooney used to say, Did you ever wonder how they do that? Well, I have an idea. Let's build a multi-track session. Right over here. As you can see here, I've got everything I need for the session right here, including the announcer, which has already been all cut up, and the uh, character Charlie, which is all cut up as well, and a bunch of sound effects and a music bed. We'll start by dragging the music bed to track one, and it's probably more music than we need, but we can cut that when we get to the end of the session. First, we need the announcer. Marker number one, drag it there. That yeah, looks good. Then we need the character, who is snoring. Put him right underneath the announcer there. And then we need the alarm clock, which goes off, gets hit, gets hit again, until Charlie just smashes it. And right there, okay. Now we need Charlie groaning and snoring underneath the alarm clock here. That would be marker number two. We'll put that right about there. Now, before we move on, let's check our levels of what we've got so far. And so another day begins for Charlie. Okay, I think the music can come down a little bit. We'll bring that down to... Eh, minus 3.6 dB. And the alarm clock might be a little too heavy, so let's back that off. Just that individual file, not the whole track. See how that sounds. Okay, everything's sounding good so far. Now we need the sound of glass breaking because Charlie has knocked his glass of water off his bed stand when he, when he smashes the alarm clock. And that is right here, glass break. Let's see, can I fit that in there? Got to zoom in. And... Uh, let's pull this over, get rid of this little dead space there, bring the glass break right about there. Now zoom out and move on to the next parts. Now Charlie reacts to breaking the glass and that should be Charlie marker number three. Crap. Okay, now marker number two from the announcer. Right about there. Uh, well, that's... Uh, well, that's not the best way to start a day, is it? Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Don't... Now he's going to step on a cat. That's we need to bring in the cat screaming. Sorry for you cat lovers. And uh, that's right there. So let's drag that over right at the end of the announcer. Don't step on the... And then the announcer finishes his sentence. Step on the cat. And Charlie reacts. That'll be marker four under Charlie. Cat. Now we go to the kitchen to pour some coffee. Coffee smells good. And we pour the coffee. There we go. Smells good. And the announcer warns him that it's kind of hot. Careful, it's... But too late. As Charlie... Oh, it's... Yo! <laughs> oh, it's... Yo! And the announcer finishes his sentence again. It's so hot. 
And a wisecrack from the announcer. Hut <clears throat> tried to warn you. And another little groan from Charlie. <clears throat> tried to warn you. And off he goes to the shower. Announcer marker number eight. Hit the shower, Charlie. And now we bring in the shower sound effects. Drag those right after the announcer. Or Charlie. And Charlie realizes that, uh, well, he should have checked the water first. Charlie. Okay, we have a level problem there. We need to bring the shower sound effects down just a bit so that we can hear Charlie going nuts there. Still not enough. Really bring it down. Level off. And the announcer comes in here and has another wise crack. You really should let the water warm up first. And Charlie responds. Warm up first. <sighs> now apparently he gets out of the shower and turns on the radio. No, not that fast. All right. And about here, he gets tired of the radio and reacts to that. Zooming in there. What a okay. Then we bring in the announcer again. Well, things could be worse, right, Charlie? <laughs> right. Next, Charlie walks to his car. Put that underneath the announcer here. Well, things could be worse, right, Charlie? You can barely hear the walking, so let's take that individual file and raise it a little bit. Well, things could be worse, right, Charlie? Right there where he stops, we open the car door and close it. Okay, and next, we try to start the car. And let's bring in the final announcer part a little bit before the end of the car sequence there. Or not. Sorry, Charlie. Well, have a good day. One last comment from Charlie. Day. <laughs> now, here's where we cut the music. Let me do that. Let's cut it right there. Looks good. Control K. Highlight the part we don't need. Hit delete. It's gone. Now zoom out on the entire session. Look what we've painted here. Now we need to mix her down. Now let's play it back. And so another day begins for Charlie. Crap. Well, that's not the best way to start a day, is it? Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Don't step on the... Cat. Coffee smells good. Careful, it's... Hot. <clears throat> Tried to warn you. Hit the shower, Charlie. 
<laughs> you really should let the water warm up first. <sighs> Well, things could be worse, right, Charlie? Or not. Sorry, Charlie. Well, have a good day. Voiceover, character voices, sound effects, music, all in one piece of audio. As the late Andy Ruby with Cafe. Oh boy. Do you ever wonder why? <laughs> As the late Andy Rooney used to say, Shut up. <laughs> Voiceover. You looked really. <laughs> Voiceover. All in one piece of audio, and it's all. Bleh. Why don't we build? Bleh!